Well, welcome back to another exciting episode of Geezer in the Woods. But I'm not in the woods, I'm on the front porch. <clears throat> this is day 12 from my ACDF anterior cervical disectomy and fusion surgery. I had been doing daily updates, but I skipped yesterday because it was nothing to say, nothing to do. Yesterday was, woke up. Everything was really good in the morning. As the day went along, it got a little worse. But then supper went down really well. I didn't have any issues. I could eat, wasn't confident hacking, so it's pretty good. And then uh, I've determined to get an ACDF surgery. It's like getting the COVID. You get a two-week quarantine at home, can't drive, can't go nowhere, can't do nothing. But I got a break yesterday. Late yesterday, some friends of mine got to camp up the hill here a bit. They're in for the holiday weekend and they got a bit of a pickle so they called me looking for a little help of course I can't drive so I said uh, hang on and I texted my neighbor and he was available so he come down and got me we went down helped him out on their bailed him out on their pickle and got him squared away so all worked out pretty good plus it was the first time since the 21st of June I've been away from the house or in a vehicle so and I tell you riding in the car with him I think helped I think the vibrations got everything in my neck settled in, you know. I don't. <clears throat> it just seems like today things are sitting better. It hurts less, and I think that just that little vibration that bounced around in the car just kind of wiggled things around, you know. And they just finally all f fit into where they want to fit, you know. Like when you <clears throat> put a log on a splitter or on the pile or on a sawmill, the log's got a way it wants to sit, you know. When you find that spot then it sits. That's, I think that's what happened to my neck. We found the spot. Things sit now. Today's been really good. I ain't took any pills today. Up through yesterday I'd been doing 25 hours between my muscle relaxers and I haven't taken any at all today yet. So and it's been three days or four days, I forget now, since I took any of the pain pills. <clears throat> Once I got to where I could handle the pain, I figured you gotta let it hurt because if you don't let it hurt you won't know when it's getting better. You know, if you take a pill and it don't hurt and you stay that way, you never know when it's getting better. So, my theory is, remember I'm not a doctor, never played one on TV, but my theory is, as soon as it gets to where you can handle the pain, you just handle the pain, then you can tell when it's getting better, because it hurts less. So it still hurts to swallow a little bit on this side up in here. It hurts my ear when I swallow. There's pressure in my ear, something ain't right over in here, so... But Thursday I get my follow-up appointment, so I got to be there at 9:30 in the morning in Cincinnati, get an X-ray, and then I got an appointment with Brittany at 10. She's the PA for Dr. Lubeck, my doctor, and uh, the girls tell me that your first follow-up's always with Brittany. So I say, hey, <clears throat> matter me. I figure she knows what she's doing. If she got hired on at Mayfield Clinic, she's a long ways from being a dummy. So, you know. I'll take her at her word, and, and I'm confident that if I, something develops between now and then that she can't handle, she'll go get the doctor, so I ain't worried. <clears throat> Don't care. Just I want to go there and get checked out and get some of my restrictions removed. And then my neighbor's going to drive me over there, and we're going to drive. he's going to drive to Hummer, so we can stop at Sam's Club on the way back. I want to pick up some shelves, Jungle Gyms, got to pick up another beef tenderloin, and uh, the old Hummer's getting to where you can't drive past Jungle Gyms, it just automatically turns in. That's just the way it is. Got to get used to it. But at any rate, ear still hurts a little. And that hurts a little more when I swallow. And it hurts right up in here when I swallow. But this don't hurt, and I think it looks pretty good today. Let's see. Yeah. So... And I think things, I took, I was able to take my normal amount of pills this morning and none of them got hung up. One got hung up, but at a different spot, way down in here somewhere. And finally it broke free and went on its way. But the others went on by this little, whatever this little thing was up in here, a little shelf, a little fold, whatever. So I think that's kind of worked its way out, going away. I've been sleeping good. I went to sleep about 8.30 last night, got up at 5.30 this morning. I woke up twice with big coughing fits. I don't know what that was all about. <clears throat> the only thing I'm having trouble eating yet is ice cream. Start eating ice cream, I start hacking and coughing like there ain't no tomorrow. 
voice is getting more normal, but not there. And, uh, got rid of some of the junk in my throat, a lot of the junk, and, I, and I've been taking extra nose sprays, so I think that's helping with the junk down in the throat, but maybe not, I don't know. So, and then, um, two days before, was it day 10, I think? Or, yeah, I think it was day 10. Um, as the day went on, I started getting, it was feeling, it was doing bad. It felt good when I first got up, but by mid-morning, it was starting to deteriorate. And it just felt like, to me, inflammation again. And I get a lot of inflammation, so I kind of know what it feels like. And I had two steroid pills left. So I took one mid-morning, and about two hours later, man, I was feeling a little better. <clears throat> I took it on about 3.30, and then I, by supper time, I was okay. I was able to eat supper, and have no issues, slept good. All the, all the problems was gone, so had to be a little more inflammation sneak back in on me. So, the government needs to get out of the way and just let us go to the store and buy our steroids as we need them, you know. Uh, it's like your Advil cold and sinus pills, man. They're over the counter, but they're behind the counter. You can't get to them. You got to show ID and you got to, yeah, for a box of cold tablets. How much meth can I make with a box of cold tablets? Unless I'm buying a semi truck load, I bet it ain't much. So, although a few years back I, I would have went for a truckload of Advil cold and sinus before I started seeing these new sinus doctors and getting this stuff under control. But that's where we're at today for day 12. Ain't much else going on. My neighbor's coming over in the morning early. We're going to unload the wood trailer. <clears throat> we looked at it yesterday when he was here. Some of the wood's less than five pounds, some of it's more. So he's going to do the big ones and I'll do the little ones. And we're going to put 10 gallons of gas in the Hummers to be ready for Thursday. And I'm going to, I didn't ask him yet. I forgot I'm going to ask him in the morning if we can take a bag of corn out back and put the feeder. The feeder's empty. So I better go along with it. If you don't, it's all right. Don't need deer can Deer got plenty to eat this time of year. They don't need me anyway. So I'm just trying to keep them in the habit that there's corn up there so <clears throat> but at any rate that's about it for today <coughs> hang on <coughs> had a sinus dump or whatever oh that's another thing now swallowing swallowing is getting a lot better and I can liquids I can take a normal sized drink now I don't have to take, don't have to take baby drinks I can take a normal sized drink and it'll go down without making me cough and hack and carry on. And and I'm over the thing, and when I've, I, back around day three and four, <clears throat> I was coughing so hard I'd break out in a sweat. And when I quit coughing, I'd cool right back down. So that was kind of weird. But I understand that's normal when you cough hard now. I found out later that when you cough hard like that, it's normal to raise your body temperature up, break out in sweat, and then when it goes away, it's on, on something, how it works. Got to get me a move or roll to the doctor, then I'll know this stuff. At any rate, <clears throat> that's about it for today. It's Sunday. Tomorrow's 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. Uh, you know what to do. Push the buttons. To subscribe. That'd be nice. Really, you'd do me a favor. It'd be help me out. Push the like button. Really help me out. And I'll like you back. And uh, push the share button. That one's the like, push the like, and push the share button. Send send a link to my videos to somebody else. Friday there was a new video from out in the woods that I had already preloaded, so if you haven't seen it, you can go see that. <clears throat> so tell a friend, and uh, unless something bad happens tomorrow, I'll probably skip again tomorrow. I'll go to every other day now, and then I'll be sure and put one up Friday to give you a report on how my follow-up appointment goes. So until then... See ya.